lots of prizes? Yeah. Or he is. Yeah, he yeah. is. As you can see, I'm getting what you're doing. Okay. So. Okay. back for more? <laughs> always. Always. This is all we do on the weekends. Really? Yeah. Okay. State sales, auctions, any of it. You buy and sell stuff too. Uh, sorry guys, didn't get much footage. It was a madhouse in there. I just kind of grabbed stuff what I could. But here's what I got. I'll do an unboxing video. These are all vintage uh, match uh, red lines and lesnies. There's five boxes of those. Uh, there's some miscellaneous uh, newer matchbox cases. I pulled out all the red lines. Here's a uh, retro bowl of a quartz. That was 10 bucks. Probably not the greatest of deals. A uh, Seiko sports watch automatic. That was 20. I'll do an unboxing video uh, when I get home. I'll probably do a, a two-part series. Have a good one. How's it going back at home? I think I'm just going to shoot this in uh, one series. Uh, this all came from one sale. Uh, Kristen and I got there at 6.20 a.m. And we were second and third in line. And I knew it was going to be a mad dash, so I didn't even bother to film till after it settled down. Um, I saw some photographs of these cases online for this estate sale. So I knew there were going to be, uh, possibly some old Lesney and uh, possibly some Redline Hot Wheels. So I made a point to uh, get there early and uh, sure enough there was probably 10 guys uh, behind me in line and they all wanted the same thing and there's a couple guys that uh, drove like two hours away uh, to try and get these cars but uh, like I said, I was second in line. The person in front of me was a lady that, that just wanted uh, jewelry. So I walked in and I said, uh, where are all the the Hot Wheels? And they pointed. I went there and pretty much grabbed everything. Christy helped me. And then we walked around and uh, found some more in just a regular 1980s case. So uh, basically what I paid for everything just by selling uh, these two watches here. I think we'll pay for all the toys. So have a uh, Seiko Sports Automatic. And then unfortunately this uh, cannot set the time. It's a uh, 70's LED Bull of a Quartz. Uh, still in this condition I think it's probably a $60, $70 watch. So just by selling these two and maybe one other piece will pay for everything. So these are all the uh, red lines. And there's some Johnny Lightnings in here. Unfortunately, some of these cars, uh, the kid painted. Like here, uh, probably one of the most desirable cars are the uh, custom Camaros. And there's actually two of them. 
but as you can see, unfortunately, a kid painted them. So I'll get some, maybe some acetone or some goo gone to see if maybe I can get this stuff off. If not, I'll just sell them as is. But yeah, this is just an incredible score. Like I said all red, most all these are red lines and uh, Johnny Lightnings. That's another desirable Lesney. That's probably a forty dollar car right there. Again, another painted one. And these were three bucks a piece. These uh, two carded uh, Deuce of Hazard figures have Bo and Luke. And this is a, another good piece. It's a Corgi, still in the package, uh, Batman cycle, or the Bat cycle. I'm guessing that's probably a $40 piece right there. But the rest of this stuff is, uh, is Matchbox Lesney. Quite a few pieces that the kid uh, painted, unfortunately. Then there's also some Lesney that are uh, in really nice condition. And then all this stuff over here. These are all Lesneys and uh, off-brand Husky. But after I uh, I had grabbed all these, of course there was guys asking me if I would sell them or do trades or what have you, but I just didn't have the time to even mess with it. So I just said, you know, I wanted them and uh, I'm just gonna take them home. And I recognize all the guys, none of them were collectors, they were pretty much, I've seen them at auctions and they uh, they resell, so these weren't going to be any uh, person's collection. Now I, I actually do collect Lesney, so some of these will go in my personal collection, and some of these are upgrades of uh, cars I already have, and some of these are in better condition than what I have. So if you can believe it, I paid a little over $100 for all this stuff. And there were some more cases of some 80s Hot Wheels, and these were all mixed in, so I pulled out all the red lines, and they sold me these for a dollar a piece. Rather than buying another case, uh, I just... Uh, Again, like I told you, these, these look uh, pretty crappy, but uh, these do so well as in, in lots. So I also picked up a uh, Evil Knievel. There's no cycle with it or any vehicles. Uh, that was five bucks. And uh, this creepy looking witch, that was two bucks. But yeah, just an incredible... Uh, find. Again, the early bird gets the worm. Like I said, Christy and I got there uh, two and a half hours early, and even then I was worried about uh, people getting there before us. But 
But since we're talking about Lesney, I'll show you guys real quick a uh, my personal collection of old Lesneys. Of course, the uh, light just blue. But these are some of my Lesney cars, just for my personal collection. You guys can't really see that because the light's out, but uh, I do collect these also. With the red lines, I probably will keep some, but uh, I'll also uh, sell some. So again, uh, thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for subscribing. And until next time, take care.